What's going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we're going to be talking about just some interesting news that we had here put on Treasure Cruise in regards to the uh, April Fool celebration. So I didn't really make any videos during the April Fool celebration. I was busy with Easter related stuff but uh, we had some pretty interesting stuff come into the game. Of course, we had the Usopp Sugo Fest. I uploaded a YouTube short uh, showing what I got from that Sugo Fest. But hey, everyone pretty much got the same things. With It's funny that the Kaku Sugo Fest and then the final poster had like the uh, the extended animation red poster for God Usopp. And the fact that you pull back, you get the red hockey. It was just a really neat thing that they could do stuff like that for absurd stuff such as that. So it would be cool if we get more of those kind of things in the future. I mean, not specifically joke related things but just unique things in one piece treasure cruise that would be dope we're getting really close guys to the 10th anniversary so things are starting to heat up a little bit we do know that towards the end of april probably mid to late april uh is going to be the brand new update um what are we on now version 13 probably version 14 is probably what it's going to be brand new update it's going to introduce a lot of new stuff including the co-op quest which is going to be interesting to see how exactly that gets implemented of course we've known this for a while now but I want to talk about this today in regards to the April Fool's Luffy that we received just by playing the event. Uh, for those of you who did miss out from locking in in April Fool's, don't worry because the character that you got for completing the quest will still be distributed so you don't have to stress about it too much. But uh, we have uh, the uh, exciting future island exploration, Monkey D. Luffy, Mysterious Suit of the Nation of Science, and Luffy Age 70, a different future here in OPTC. So, of course, the character that we currently have is the Luffy Age 70. Uh, the character that you got to play with during the middle of the quest was the Luffy Age 19 character, the Mysterious Suit of the Nation of Science. And that character's actually pretty good. We'll talk about him in just a moment. We'll talk about all of this stuff first, but it says here, the character artwork for the following will be updated on April 3rd PST. Luffy age 70, a different future. I'm pretty sure what they're referring to is this icon right here, as it says Luffy age 70, a different future. It still shows the young Luffy, but if you actually click on it, the icon is not representative of the character and it's likely they just wanted to keep the theming of the april falls i believe they did this last year where like the the character i'm pretty sure wasn't it the clash luffy lauren kid and then like they super evolved into the one where with the funny faces that they're trying to dodge the fireball from big mom but luffy age 70 this character is interesting i don't think he's going to see much play but he's got a really really weird gimmick as we'll we'll talk about it but free spirit fighter uh the captain ability here you get 10 percent health cut at the end of every turn 3.5 times attack but only gives himself a very small attack boost and then reduces special reverse by two turns I'm probably never going to use him as a captain but then you have this special ability here mind you this is at max special 70 turns of cooldown reduces his cooldown or reduces the cruise cooldown by two turns Reduces the crew's attack by 70% for three turns, but completely removes all enemies, increased attack, uh, enrage, and delays all enemies by two turns. So, of course, it, it's a bad negative effect to get three turns of attack down. You could use it preemptively before moving into a stage to avoid large amounts of attack down from the opponent, but I think, you know, this is not really going to be used all that much. Again, 70 turns of cooldown, but he does have the potential ability of reducing his cooldown by 51 turns at the start of the quest, meaning that he basically starts off at 19 turns with cooldowns and, and any, any other types of cooldown reductions that you have. You could probably start him around 15 turns 16 turns 14 turns either way i just don't think this character is really going to see that much play uh he does have interesting crewmate abilities as well if you've got a free spirit captain and uh it says if your captain is free spirit boost free spirit character's base hp by 1.1 and then reduces character's special reverse by two turns so it allows him to resist special reverse with a special that does special cooldown but then you've got the other crewmate ability if you have a psi captain lowers the crew's base hp by 0.7 times so this is a really interesting thing i don't know if this is going to see play but there could be some niche scenarios where you probably actually want to get your health cut by a significant portion there are teams that are really want that to, to actually occur so I don't know if this is going to be good, but it's interesting. It's nice to have it just in case you do need it. As well as this support effect attaching to any of the straw hats, it does also attach to Bonnie as well. But it just says, lowers the supported character's base stats by 0.7 times. Obviously really, really bad. Again, there could be some niche scenarios where this is actually useful though. Likely not. But what they're saying is, is that, you know, this old Luffy obviously is a bit of a meme character, but... 
we're actually going to be able to get this other young Luffy again. Like, this character will actually be distributed. So it says that there's an apology, the trial quest, exciting future island exploration to see the stats of the new character Monkey D. Luffy uh, in the, with the Nation of Science was distorted due to an unknown interference and Luffy has appeared in a different form than what was planned. As a token, we get five rainbow gems. And then it says about the age 70 Luffy. Uh, so the age 70 Luffy that was recruited from the trial quest will be available at Ticket Exchange, Pirate King Adventures, PKA, from April 4th, 7am. Users who are not able to play the event will be able to still recruit the Luffy. So you're still able to get him. That's fine. That's awesome. I'm glad that they're still doing that so you can pick them up even if you did miss out on the opportunity. Availability of the character in the Ticket Exchange may change. Okay. About, uh, and then you've got like the information about the Luffy age 70. But then this, upcoming events. Monkey D. Luffy, mysterious suit in the Nation of Science, will be available for recruit from an event held in May. So this, we believe, right, it's a five-star character that you can get by playing some event in May, right? This character will really be appearing. I don't know if that is in reference to something specific, but it says this character will really be appearing. So maybe they're trying to say, hey, this is, this is not a joke this time, you can really get this character. And it says, also, this Luffy will be avail available for a 5-star plus Super Evolution. Follow up on the upcoming notice for more details in regards to the event and when the Super Evolution will be added. The events are subject to change. Uh, mysterious suit in the, in the Nation of Science will appear with different stats than the stats seen in the Trial Quest. So that's interesting. And then Monkey D. Luffy Mysterious Suit in the Nation of Science and its Super Evolution form will not become age 70 for using the special. Yeah, so in when we actually use the effects in the middle of the quest, like the Luffy changed into the old Luffy and stuff. Yeah, so what they're saying is, is you can get old Luffy age 70, but we're able to get our hands on this other Luffy in another event held in May. So we're not even going to get him in April, so we still have to wait a whole month to actually get him. My assumption is, is that Luffy will be the PKA character for next month. That makes sense. And then, of course, he gets the Super Evolution added with Treasure Map. That does make sense. So, let's go ahead and have a look now at exactly what this Luffy was capable of doing. Now, as we know, that the Luffy character, the uh, the, the young Luffy, he's going to have different abilities um, from what he currently had in this quest. Because if you have a look at what this character was capable of doing... This character, this young Luffy's captain, 5.6 times attack and heals 500, 600, uh, 565,000 HP at the end of the turn. So obviously, I can't see that being a free-to-play character that they release. That does seem a bit absurd. The special ability halves your crew's attack for 70 turns, but completely removes all enemy barriers, removes crew's bind, paralysis, and despair for 7 turns, and changes character slot into recovery. And then you have the crewmate ability, which is essentially the same as what we had before. The cooldown reduction was not as good. And then obviously has the enrage effect. Interestingly, this says support strength characters. I'm pretty sure the character was int in the event. Could be wrong, but either way. This, uh, this young Luffy is going to be a little bit different in the upcoming event in May. So it's going to be interesting to see what they actually decide to do. My assumption is that this is going to super evolve into a Gear 5 Luffy. Now, I don't want to go into anime spoilers for those individuals out there that are not currently up to date or don't know exactly what's going on. I'm sure they're going to show in new episodes soon. Luffy, he is going to go Gear 5 and we see some really neat stuff, some new attacks, some new kind of outfits and stuff. And it would be cool if this guy super evolves into one of those Gear 5 Luffys with some interesting animations and stuff. So that's going to be cool. And if that's what they decide to do for the actual anniversary, I think that would be pretty high. We'll have to wait and see exactly what they're doing though. It is interesting that, he, that they have this effect to give lowered stats if you have a Psy Captain, so maybe they're going to release villain characters that are Psy units, because I, mean, I will say, there's not a lot of good villain characters that are Psy, like if you look at Psy Driven Powerhouse, it's pretty minimal in terms of the characters that you get access to, so hopefully we get some more stuff in regards to that, but I don't know, we'll have to wait and see exactly, just wanted to make this quick video to discuss it, because it's just kind of fascinating to see this April Fool stuff, and this new Luffy, who knows exactly what he's going to be and how good he may be, but I'm excited to see exactly what they have in store for us. But that is pretty much going to wrap it up for me. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. On that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.